Hey guys, this is George, and in this video I'm going to be doing an overview of the Apple Keynote uh, they did on March 2nd, which was yesterday. They showed the new iPad, iOS 4.3, and a few other things. So I have a list right here of all the details I wrote down while I was watching the Keynote. Uh, if you want to watch the, uh, the full Keynote, you can go to apple.com and look for the Watch the Keynote video uh, uh, page or something like that. Uh, but if you want a short and complete overview of the whole uh, keynote and all the stuff they said and all the details they presented and all that stuff uh, watch this video so the first thing we're gonna I'm gonna talk about is the new iPad it's called the iPad 2 it's gonna be available on March 11th on the US and then on March 25th on uh, other countries like uh, UK uh, France um, other Europe and countries and stuff like that um, one of the um, new things about the iPad 2 is that, well, first you can buy it on white or uh, black, and that changes this uh, black bezel right here from the current iPad. The back is still going to be aluminum. Um, also, on the insides of the iPad, it's going to have a new co uh, a new uh, processor. Uh, it's called the uh, Apple A5 chip. Uh, the one that this iPad has, the iPad first gen, has uh, a core, uh, I mean a CPU called the A4, the new iPad is going to have the A5, it's going to be a dual core 1 gigahertz processor, it's going to be uh, twice as fast and nine times faster for graphics and stuff like that, so that's going to be a pretty cool feature for gaming and other things like that on the iPad. Um, also the iPad 2 is going to be thinner, uh, it's going to be 1.3 pounds, a, a little bit lighter than this iPad. Um, it's not going to have a rounded back, it's going to be a straight back like uh, the iPod Touch. Um, it's going to have a new uh, front camera and a rear camera, so it's going to have a new camera I think right here, uh, actually right, like this, right here, and the front facing camera right here on the top. And that's going to give you the ability to FaceTime, and, uh, shoot movies and pictures and stuff like that. Uh, it's not going to have a retina display, that was one of the rumors that people were talking about. It's not going to have a retina display, it's going to have the same, um, I think it's 9.3 inch display. Uh, it's going to have a gyroscope like the iPhone and the iPod Touch 4 Gen. Um, you're going to be able to uh, move your iPad and it's going to be able to detect where you're aiming and that's going to open uh, new possibilities for gaming and stuff like that. Um, it has. Uh, it's gonna have the same 10-hour battery, so that's a pretty cool feature. I noticed that with my first iPad, the battery is very long and it lasts a lot, and I wouldn't like that battery life to be reduced or anything like that. And it's also gonna be priced the same, so 500, 600, and 700 dollars for the Wi-Fi version of 16, 32, and 64 gigabytes, and to those prices, you add 130 for the 3G version version of that same. Um, uh, amount of uh, I mean, um, memory. So if you have the 32 gig version Wi-Fi, it's going to cost you uh, $600, and if you have the 3G version, it's going to cost you $730. Um, there were some new accessories presented on the keynote. Uh, the first one is a is a, a cable that plugs right here on the 30 pin connector, and it gives you an output for HDMI. So full 1080 HDMI for your TV or whatever you want to show your iPad. Well, a very cool feature is that it's going to show you the whole screen so you can browse every app you have, every video you have. So you don't have to worry about only streaming content that it, you buy on the iTunes app, uh, music store or movie store, whatever. Another accessory is going to be the Apple Smart Covers which are a new sort of uh, cover or case for your iPad. It's not going to be like the first cover or case for the iPad. This one is just going to be sort of like a, a plain um, cloth. I mean, not a cloth. It's going to be, you either have two options, polyurethane or leather. There are five colors on each model and uh, polyurethane costs $40 and leather $70. And it's sort of like a, a piece of that material which you just uh, apply on the top of your iPad's screen and then with magnets it, atta it attaches on one side and then you can fold it back and use it to um, put your iPad standing up or on a writing position or um, it also has the ability that it wakes up your iPad when you open it and it puts it to sleep when you close it so that's a pretty cool thing. Um, also they showed 
iOS 4.3, so one of the first features they showed about that was that the, so, the, the Safari JavaScript was going to be twice as fast, so it's going to be able to load um, websites faster. Uh, there's going to be a new feature called uh, AirPlay for video and apps. And, I mean, it's not going to be a new feature, it's going to be like an improvement to the current AirPlay where you're going to be able to also stream apps. So if you have an application you want to show on a big screen or something like that, you're going to be able to do that wirelessly to your Apple TV or another device. Um, they are going to have the ability to, I mean, a new ability for iOS 4.3 is going to be uh, iTunes home sharing. So maybe you want to keep your iPad free for, of all your music videos, but you have them on your computer and you're on the same Wi-Fi network. You can browse all those videos and music on your computer via the uh, via your iPad wirelessly. Um, also, the iPad is going to have the uh, ability to change what this button does right here. So currently, it needs the iPad, but on iOS 4.3, it's going to give you the ability to uh, change it from muting to uh, locking the rotation. So that's going to be a pretty cool feature. I actually want this to be the rotation lock. Um, another thing is going to be if you have an iPhone 4, you're going to be able to use your 3G data plan uh, as a personal hotspot. So it's going to create like a bubble around you of Wi-Fi for you and all your other gadgets. Um, another feature of the iPad 2 is going to be the ability of FaceTime. They demonstrate FaceTime. It works perfectly for Macs, iPhone 4, or iPod Touch, or any other device. Um, and also they're going to add an app called Photo Booth, which is going to come pre-built on your iPad. So you're going to be able to take pictures using different styles and effects, sort of like you do on your Mac on the Photo Booth app. So it's going to be able to take different type of uh, pictures and stuff like that. That's, a, that's going to be a pretty cool feature. And they showed two apps which they're going to release on March 11th called uh, iMovie. So iMovie for the iPad, iPhone, iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, there's currently an iMovie for iPhone or iPod Touch, but it's not that great. Uh, but they're going to release a new iMovie. Uh, which is going to cost five dollars and it's going to have a bunch of more features and it's going to be a very good editing uh, program for your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. And they also demonstrated GarageBand which is also going to cost uh, five dollars and they're going to release it on March 11th. And actually that app was very impressive, I mean they showed uh, a virtual keyboard or piano or uh, you can use your iPad as a, uh, as a music instrument so you can play the guitar, you can play the piano, um, you can play the drums. You can also, uh, uh, I mean, even if you don't know how to play any of those uh, instruments, the iPad kind of gives you an easier way of doing that. You can connect your guitar and use your iPad as a as an amplifier and give some uh, sort of uh, effects and stuff like that. So they demonstrated that, and it was pretty cool. You can also compose your own songs using the eight-track uh, song composer. So you're gonna be able to have eight tracks on the same song and build them your own or plug in your guitar and create your own song and add effects and export that song and you're gonna also going to be able to uh, edit a song on GarageBand and also uh, send it to your Mac and keep working on that on GarageBand for your Mac so that's also a pretty cool feature so that's pretty much it for the keynote it was pretty short it was like 70 minutes they showed the iPad 3 some accessories and the iOS 4.3 so I personally recommend you go watch the full video at apple.com I I think watching Apple keynotes are very interesting and you never get bored of them and you get the full details and stuff like that. So that's about it for this video guys. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe and follow me on Twitter for real time updates. Goodbye guys.